So the other day, I get a call from one of my friends who was so excited, he finally took the leap and bought a new suit. Suit, shirt, tie, shoes, he did it all. He was so excited, he was like, yo, I went to the store, I did what you said, the sales associate helped me, and I wanna send you a picture to check it out. And as soon as I got the picture, I realized I should have gone with him. A nine out of 10 dudes would look at my buddy and be like, yo, you look sharp, you're gonna kill it and all that good stuff. There were some glaring problems. But today, you and your style are in luck because I'm going over 10 style secrets that only stylish men know. All right, so everybody knows that when your pants are too long, you get them shortened or hemmed, but only stylish men know that you should also have them tapered. The pants on the bottom have not been altered. The ones on top have not only been shortened, they've also been tapered. Tapering and tailoring a pant leg is an amazing alteration and one that you should definitely consider if having your pants shortened. Secret number two is knowing how to pick the right collar for your face shape. Simple rule of thumb, the thinner the face, the wider the spread, the bigger the head, the smaller the space. And since we're talking about collars, we need to move on to style secret number three, which is choosing the appropriate knot size for the collar you're wearing. It's all about compliment, all right? So if you've got a big wide spread, you need a bigger knot to fill up that space, all right? This is a full Windsor with a wide spread. But if you're wearing something like a standard point collar, doesn't have that big opening, you can go with a smaller knot like a four in hand. And since we're talking about ties, let's move on to style secret number four, which is match your lapel width to your tie width. Big wide lapel, big wide tie. Medium size lapel, medium with tie. Style secret number five is one that I, lots of dudes have absolutely no clue, and it's all about shirt buttonholes. Have you ever wondered why the last button on a dress shirt or a button up shirt sometimes is horizontal, sometimes the stitching is contrasting? In the old days, one of the ways that you kept your shirt tucked in was by having a little button on the inside of your pants. You would actually attach your shirt to the inside side of your pants, thus that little horizontal buttons. Now, obviously, we don't have this, but a lot of companies will actually do that last buttonhole sideways or contrasting stitching just to show that it's higher quality. Since we're talking about shirts, we're talking about buttons, secret number six is why shirts have two buttons on the cuff. The answer is actually to compensate for a gentleman who wears a wrist watch. On the side that you don't wear the watch, you make it tighter. On the side that you wear a watch, you make it looser. That way, you can still be wearing a watch and have a little bit of cuff showing. And since we're talking about watches, let's move on to style secret number seven, which is making the battery on your quartz movement watches last longer. By now, you know I'm a humongous watch slut. I love high-end watches. I love low-end watches. I love watches like Vincero. This is actually my collection of Vincero watches who happen to be today's video sponsor. The deal is a lot of the watches that I owned are quartz movement like the Vincero, which means they have batteries. All right. And what I do when I store all of my watches, I simply pull the pins out. And what this is actually going to do is make the watches stop. So all of my quartz movement watches right now are stopped. When I'm ready to wear it, I simply take it off. I set the time, I set the date, bang, pop it in, I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, what I found is that this is the best way to preserve the life of the battery and to make sure that the outfit and watch combo you had planned is ready to rock. Speaking of rocking, Vincero's new collection, sick. It's called the Bellwether Collection. And I think personally, these chronos are so incredibly sick. Um, the rose gold with the white face, nuts, and this black one with the black and uh, red contrasting stitching, I absolutely flipped my mind when I saw them. The Vinceros are, in my opinion, one of the best bangs for your watch buck. Um, they use top of the line materials, the quality, the craftsmanship, along with the styling is just incredible. I love all watches. I love super high-end watches like my Rolexes. I love super low-end watches like Timex, but I love watches like Vinceros that are sort of that middle ground. It's affordable luxury. If you're in the market for a new watch or just want to add an amazing one to your collection, there's a link down below to Vincero Watches. There you can check out the new line along with the standard or old classic ones. Um, any way you shake it, they're incredible watches. Guys, a discount link is down below. All right. So you got a cool ass watch on. You're like, yo, I want to show it off. But all these long sleeves, what am I going to do? Well, you're going to know style secret number eight, which happens to be, bang, a cool ass fold. I don't know if the name is technically the sweet ass fold, but it should be if it's not. All right, here's how you're going to do it. You're going to go boom. You're like simple, right? So far. But the secret comes in when you tuck, tuck, 
tuck. You tuck that bad boy in. How sweet does that look? You want to see it again? No problem. Right there. Boom. You're like, yo, what's up, mama? Good to see you. What time is it exactly? Right? Then you're like, yo, it's cold. I want to take him down. How are you going to do that? No problem. Grab the wand. Boom. Pull it out. Bang. Not many people know how to do this. And when I show somebody for the first time, they're like, oh my God, that's the coolest thing ever. I'm like, yeah, it's simple. It's easy. And it's super cool, but not quite as cool as style secret number eight. Actually, that was eight. Nine, which is how to make your dress shoes instantly more comfortable. Now, some of you are probably thinking, wow, Mizuno makes amazingly stylish dress shoes. Actually, Mizuno doesn't make dress shoes. But the inserts are from my old worn out running shoes. I bought a pair of dress shoes from a discount rack and they were a little bit big. I'm like, what am I going to do? I had some old sneakers. I grabbed the inserts. I'm like, hey, let me try this. Boom. I popped them in and it was like heaven. Old sneaker inserts. Perfect. Since we're talking about shoes, I'm going to show you another one of my style secrets, which is number 10, and that's how to store your shoes. So when you get a new pair of shoes, the question is, all right, do I keep the box? Do I throw the box out? Me personally, I keep it because I store things in there. Not only do I store the shoes, I actually will, and this is where the secret comes in, I will take the belt that matches that shoe because honestly, I feel that every shoe deserves a matching belt, and I will actually store that belt in along with the shoes. You take the box then and put it in your closet. It's also a lot easier to store shoes that are in the box as opposed to just loose shoes. And then you know that actually you want to see another pair. Belt and shoes that match. And again, black belt. Boom. Hold on, one more. I'm serious about this. I love this, right? Belt, yeah, kind of like a chestnut. You're thinking, oh, I wonder what color shoes are in there. Exactly, chestnut. My studio is a mess full of amazing shoes. Gentlemen, speaking of amazing, I think you are pretty damn spectacular.